big win again for them, this time over Southampton. But the headline act wasn't Erling Haaland this time. It won't stop us talking about him. Don't worry. Did score again, so we're going to have to. But I want to talk about João Cancelo. And I want to ask you if you think he's underrated and if he's talked about as much as he should be. No, I think we talk about him enough. He's a great player. We all know it. Uh, I mean, he, he, you know, he's the, the most balanced defender out there in the world, right? I mean, obviously a right back that has played on the left-hand side for the most part and, and has learned it to such degree that he actually is a better left back than he is a right back. No questions about that. I, I'm pretty sure even if you ask him where he'd prefer to play, He'd probably say uh, um, on the left side, and that's not easy, by the way. I've been a left back, and the adjustment is 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 not as easy and something right. I mean, in terms of defensive principles, is the same, but there's a different way you bring the ball um, out of the back, obviously with uh, uh, with your weaker foot. So I think he's a tremendous player. Again, look, I mean, we haven't talked about Trent, who also got injured, by the way, and also struggled uh, as well a little bit. I mean, Cancelo is more comfortable going forward than defending. I, I guess he hasn't been under pressure to such degree as Trent in terms of his defending to really find out. Would have been nice to know what is, you know how Cancelo plays if Manchester City were attacked time and time again. Uh, but I still think he's a better defender than Trent. Uh, so, no, he's not underrated. I think anybody that watches football uh, knows how good of a player he is. Well, obviously, this City team is special. We just mentioned him. We mentioned Kevin De Bruyne on a weekly basis. And you've got other supporting cast members, Akanji, really standing out. I don't know if you saw some of the footage this week from Sky Sports of how good he is with his mental arithmetic. If you've not seen that, go and have a look on Twitter. It's incredible. You give him a multiplication and he can answer it like that. He's a smart guy. Uh, Phil Foden, just so many players doing bits for Man City. But let's do it then. Let's talk about Erling Haaland. Another goal from him. We already talk about the insanity of these numbers every week. So let's just get your thoughts, Janish, on his latest display. Because I was getting worried there. It was like, I don't know, a 79-minute goal drought from goal to goal for Erling Haaland. I mean, look, uh, it, it's it, it's sometimes, you know, it's almost like, you know, I say it, it's stupid to 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 watch what he's doing. It really is because, you know, he's going to do it. He does it even if you don't see him. I mean, obviously, this wasn't, you know, his best game. If you look at his numbers and the way he played, it doesn't have to be. He got his goal. And by the way, that goal was special. I mean, if you look at the one two uh, uh, on, on the was it Cancelo, I think, with the, with De Bruyne. Uh, uh, it was it was incredible, uh, and you know the first time finished. By the way, not all that easy. That ball came quickly at him, you know, and and you know technically absolutely superb. So so, but but it's not just about him. That that's that's the thing, and that's the reason I say now it's for me it's easy Manchester City because you know people say what well, what do you do to stop to stop Holland, uh, you know, and to stop Holland you have to stop Manchester City because the truth of the matter is they've been doing that before him. And they're going to do it without him. I'm convinced of that. Not that I wish him to be injured, but if he was, if he was out of the team, because there's always that talk, what happens? We we know his injury problems at, at Borussia Dortmund, especially in that last year. And obviously, again, I don't wish him that. But if he's not playing, say, for four or five or six games, nothing changes. You, know, you don't think they miss him with what we've seen so far? No, no, I don't think they will miss it. Look, I mean, the way they play right now, Robert Lewandowski scores every one of those goals just about that he does. Harry Kane scores every one of those goals uh, so far, right? So again, I'm not diminishing the fact because ultimately at his age, so young, the potential is to be way better than Kane. They're, they're, they're not in that team. And when those players are out of their team, you do notice it. Well, well I, I, no, I, I don't remember last season. I mean, how many how many Premier League titles have Manchester City won, uh, have won? And last season, no Holland, no problem. False nine. There's zero zero issues for Manchester City. Now you could say maybe they're not winning those games three three or okay, four. So, or five so why have him? Why 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 even get a player like him? No, because he take he takes you over. He assures you that result. He assures in some of those games that there is no drama. But again, Manchester City are the champions without him. We were worried about what's going to happen when Kun Aguero is not there. It wasn't a, a big issue. Yeah, we've talked about, yeah, the false nine doesn't always work. I think I think the bonus with him may be in Europe, but my point is that rather than thinking about Holland alone and making it that look at Manchester City and look at Holland, no, Manchester City would win the Premier League without Erling Holland this season, just as they did last season. I, I, I No questions in my mind. 
it, but is that just because of what's going on elsewhere? Well, I suppose there is Arsenal, right? Well, I mean, look at Phil Foden you just mentioned. I mean, he's he's getting better with every game, right? De Bruyne is an inc incredible player. Yeah, last goal week, share, I, shared around it again. Last week, remember, we've said, I, I kind of, bit of a warning, not even a warning because it's easy to see. I said, wait till Riyad Mahrez starts playing. And of course, he did score at an assist, I think. Uh, you know, those players just, again, if you look at the true depth, in talent for Manchester City, you know, you just mentioned Akanji. I mean, come on. I mean, it was a, Akanji was playing a right back. I mean, well, I mean, think about it. We were thinking, well, wait a second. Okay, where, where, how are they going to play? Is Cancelo going to go back to the right, right hand side? I mean, it's incredible. They lose players, and Rodri comes back and look at the assist for the goal on Mares. That little clip, that little ball that's just perfect. So, so my point to you is that to stop Holland, you have to stop Manchester City. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis, and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.